Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. This tutorial is going to be going through strings. So what is a string? Well a string is a uh, well a string of characters. So I is one character connected to another character connected to another character. So basically it's just a set of text. So this would be a string but not within the code. So how do we use string variables? So we put dim text as string. So this creates a variable that we can store st strings in. Then we put text equals hello world. So just creating the basic hello world program again. Um, this time however I'm going to write hello world onto this page. I'm going to write it into the uh, into a cell rather than come up in a message box. So we want, we've already got declared the workbook in the sheets so we just need dot cells and we'll just put it in row one, column one, dot value. And we want that to be equal to text. So if we run this now, then Alt F8, run, and Hello World appears in this box. Now, what if we want to say create? Another one, say text two, and we want text two to be equal to comma. My name is Matt, and we want to display both of these things. So we will put text three. Which I'll declare again up here. So text free equals text. And we don't use plus to add them together, we use the little ampersand symbol for and it stands for concatenate. So you concatenate text and text. Text two. This will mean that text free becomes hello world and comma my name is Matt. And then just for good measure I'm going to concatenate onto the end uh, just a string. So you can use strings directly without declaring them as a variable first. So I'm going to put an exclamation mark at the end. So let's see what this does when we run this. So run. And it's still treated it as hello world because I haven't changed this to text free. So Alt F8, run, and then hello world, my name is Matt. And we can do the same thing as we did before. So if I take that out and put it in that box and then instead of having that have cells row one column one dot value say take hello world from there and put it into text and then instead of having this have cells row one column two dot value and then we'll put it into row two so if we run this now, run, and it's taken both the string values from here and added them at the bottom down here. So this is the basics of strings. You can use them in a variety of ways. And you notice that these are also declared as strings. This is also why, as I explained earlier, if you substitute anything for just two speech marks 
this will make the value of whichever cell equal to nothing. That's because this is a string that contains no characters. So it just puts no characters in that box, making it blank. Also, going back to the message box, if I delete this, I'm going to show you a message box. When it comes up, it comes up with prompts. So prompts is taking a string as its argument. So before, we typed the string directly in, and we had hello world. My name is Matt. But instead, we can just pass in the string variable, just like that. No speech marks, because you're using a variable rather than an actual string. And then, if we run that, run, and that's come up with hello world, my name is Matt. Exactly what we wanted it to do. So it's taken the string value from this cell, which is hello world, and the string value from this world, this cell, which is my name is Matt, and then it's added them together and added an exclamation mark on the end, and then it's split, displayed it all in a message box. Uh, so that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for listening, and I hope you listen again soon.